Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to import a DXF or DWG file. The first step is to create a new 2D view. We need this because we need a view to import our DWG file into. To import the DWG file, select the application menu, then select import and then 2D DXF DWG files. Please note, if you have not created a 2D view, then this menu will not be active. This activates the open dialog where you can browse for your DWG file which you wish to import. The DWG file will then load. The amount of time this takes will depend on the size of the DWG file. What you see in the preview window will depend entirely on how the DWG file was constructed. You can hide selected layers to hide unwanted information. If you can't find the information you require, then in the Import options, select Scaling Factor and change it to 0 0.001. After rescaling, you should now see all of the information contained in the DWG file within your preview window. In our case, the information that we require is the 2D plan in the bottom right hand corner. Select OK to initiate the import. You will then return to the 2D view where clicking once with the left mouse button will place the imported file. Zoom out so that you can see the entire imported file in your 2D view. Now drag the imported DWG plan so the area that we are interested in is in the centre of our project. And now zoom back in to show the area of interest. Not essential, but I like to create a new layer just for my DWG plan so I can hide and show it at will. To ensure your DWG drawing is set to the right scale, right click on the drawing and from the context menu select Modify Scaling. Now click between two points of a known length and in the measured length dialog enter the actual length and on pressing OK your DWG drawing will rescale. We can now snap our walls to the imported DWG plan. Before placing our first wall, we should decide how we want our wall to look. We can use a cavity wall, a crossed hatch wall, or a field wall. In our example, we're going to use a grey field wall. First, we're going to insert the external walls using the Between Two Points Chain tool. When placing the wall, you'll find that it will snap to the lines in the DWG plan. Then use the Ctrl and W keys to change the snap points of the wall. Remember the wall can snap to either edge, the inside edge or the outside edge or the center line. We can now quickly snap around the external wall of the DWG plan. We can now insert our internal walls. In our case, we're going to use the lightweight wall. And again, we'll change the wall style so that it appears as a grey filled wall.
trace a curved wall using a series of short straight walls. You can of course view the project in 3D by simply opening the 3D view at any time. So that concludes the tutorial on importing a 2D DWG plan and then using it to create a 3D model.